Good people of YouTube, my name is Spanner, welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. The girls are having a bath and uh, we are going to sneak a peek, shall we? Yeah, hey, hey, Mr. Naegi, you're on point. Be careful, don't get us caught if Ogre finds us. We'll be meeting up with Hades in no time. I placed my hand. <clears throat> I placed my hand on the door leading into the bath house. I opened it gently, inch by inch. I maneuvered my hand like a master craftsman to avoid making even the slightest sound. A little further, a little further, and then. On the other side of the thick rising steam, I saw That's it? I'm not sure how to put it, but I always feel refreshed after a job well done. A 3D body isn't so bad in, his, in its nude state, I suppose. But still, I just can't believe it, like, for serious. Ogre's a girl. Was this really okay? Well, I looked too, so I guess I'm gonna have to say yes. Meanwhile, we heard the buzzing, the buzzing of busy voices growing louder. The girls had finished their baths and joined us in the dining hall. Ah man, what a nice bath! Getting a chance to stretch out and relax after all this time was a true pleasure. Indeed. Normally after a long bath I like to make myself a nice protein coffee, but... Sorry, no time for that. That's what I figured. Huh? We were just saying in the bath how it was about time for you to get up to something. After seeing how happy we were, an evil little monster like you would never let that last for long. You're all so terrible to me. Everyone's so cold and mean, even after I got presents for you all. Presents? Hmm? Oh, have I got your attention? Then let's head to the gym where your presents await. No questions, no dilly dallying. Get a move on and everything will become clear. What is it? What are you scheming this time? He's probably going to repeat the same thing again. Providing us with the motive to get things moving. Again? I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore. Me either, I'm like totally traumatized. It's okay, we have Alter Ego. I'm sure he'll find something that'll help us. So for now. We have to just endure it. Come that come what may. With heavy feet we made our way to the gym. But when we arrived, there was already someone waiting for us. To be kept waiting by the likes of you, rest assured, if we had access to firearms, you'd all be dead. Byaku, yeah? Did you get here ear early? Did you forget how to walk? Is that why you're late? It's simply right foot, left foot, right foot. <laughs> hmm, the same as always, I see. Her, on the other hand... Oh, I see she's back to her Debbie Downer self, huh? I heard what sounded like a sneeze, and she was back to her old self. So now she goes from manic to depressive whenever she sneezes. Seems kinda late to add that into the mix. 
Why does everyone keep making fun of me? I hope you all w win the lottery and get hit by a bus. So when you wanna say something mean, then you can talk, huh? Anyway, it looks like everyone's here. Which means... Oh, another announcement. It looks like everyone's here, so then, let's get started. Come on, out with it! What kind of motive have you prepared for us this time? Whatever you subject us to, we will not break. Yeah, that's right. We're not gonna lose to you ever again. Hoo hoo hoo, you don't have to get so defensive, calm down. I've decided to change things up a bit this time. Up till now, I've been using the whoosh of the north winds to get you all moving. But sometimes you gotta use the sun to light a fire under someone's butt. Ha ha ha! So without further ado, I give you... This. What is that? Oh! Ten million dollars! <laughs> I've prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive. What do you think? It's 10 million bucks, 10 million smackaroos. It's like totally wowie wow wow, am I right? So that's the motive you've prepared, is it? 10 million dollars is... It's not nearly enough! When it comes to motives, money certainly is the gold standard, so to speak. Whether it's in a mystery novel or the real world. But... There's no way we'd kill each other for money. She's right, you can't simply purchase a person's life. You can say 10 million or however much, I don't give a crap for serious. Yeah, they're all right. Whether it's at 10 million or any other amount of money. No, not even just money. From now on, no matter what you do, we won't kill our friends. Come on, stop trying to act tough. The most important thing is to live a pure and moral communal life. Monokuma disappeared, leaving his words on stage along with the massive sum of money. There's nothing to worry about, right? Nobody would kill a friend for money, right? Have you so quickly forgotten the lesson from last time? You can judge others by your own standards. Yeah, there might be someone here who's having money problems. Personally, I've earned over one million dollars from my gambling efforts. My life is comfortable. Kifumi, what about you? I'm a super popular content creator. I don't have any problem making enough to buy my comics and DVDs. Then... Just stop. Pressing others, pressing others about their personal finances is ugly. Ugly? Don't worry, either way, whatever's going to happen will happen without warning. That is the nature of this game. Oh, night time? I believe it's night time. School announcement, 10 p.m. night time. Blah, 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 bugs bites. It's that time already, huh? Before we separate, let me remind you. Starting tonight, I'll be leaving my room door open to make sure nothing happens to Alter Ego. Should you be revealing that to Byakuya and Toko here? But just because my door is open, don't assume that will make me an easy target. Or the predator may suddenly find itself the prey. Her voice was calm and composed, but it was clear she meant what she said. Okay, okay, let's get everyone. Let's everyone just head back to our rooms. 
And don't think about that whole money thing. Got it? Good. Then let's break. How was that? Pretty good, right, Taka? Right. As soon as I was back in my room, I crawled into bed. Money. There's no reason that's gonna get anyone to kill anyone else. Man, you should... I mean, Byakuya is a dick. But you really... You should really listen to him sometimes. I told myself that, but deep in my heart, I was still troubled. After all, I thought the same thing last time about having our secrets revealed. Even if the reason for it seems completely nonsensical, a murder can still happen. That's the lesson we learned. But this time, this time it's different, I'm sure of it. Because of the program Chihiro left behind, alter ego. We finally have some small hope to grasp onto, except the mastermind lives among us. As long as we have that, then I'm sure. Little kids have it so easy, because they can put little in front of their name and right off the bat everyone thinks they're cute. Well fine then, I want everyone to start calling me Little Monokuma. See, just by adding that my cuteness goes up by at least like 10%, right? Yeah, the world doesn't have nearly enough littles. More littles would lead to the salvation of the world. Just imagine, little arsonist, little war criminal, little destruction of the environment, little hit and run, Little death tax, little great depression. Even the darkest subject can suddenly become brighter. Our dreams are expanding, ding ding. And morning. Do I have free time today? Can we bond with people? Good morning everyone, time to rise and shine. Beautiful day. Does bonding even, even, I mean, does bonding really matter, uh, except, um, does bonding actually do anything besides getting a skills? Well, then, I guess I should head to the dining hall. Oh, hello there. Good morning, Sakura. Did you just wake up? Yeah. Waking up for our breakfast meeting is fine, of course, but getting up a little early is better. You can exercise in your room till nighttime ends, a big meal after working up. A sweat is divine. Hey, morning, Makoto. Good morning, you're kinda sweaty. Have you been exercising? Yep, me and Sakura were doing our morning workout. Oh, but I didn't break our nighttime promise, I just ran around my room till it ended. Why don't you come with us next time? I don't think I could keep up with you and Sakura. Ah, uh, seriously? Okay, then we can do something in the rec room. I'm not good at much, but I know how to play Othello. I'm not very good at that either though, I don't like to think when I'm playing, so... I'd also like to check out the infirmary when we have the time. Ah, good morning. Morning. Actually, it's a great morning, a morning that has blessed my entire future. Really? It feels like any other morning to me. Fwehehe, <laughs> maybe you can tell, but my soul is positively overflowing with strawberries today. Well, I'm off. That was bizarre, I mean, even for him. Okay, what's going on?
So the people here today are the same as yesterday, just a seven. Byakuya and Toko are a lost cause, but it looks like Takas decided to stop coming for good too. It's like he's just given up. For people wound as tight as he is, when you snap, you snap hard. I wish there was some way to make him better. On another topic, Kyoko did everything all right last night. Yes, I didn't have any problems. I went and checked on the laptop a little while ago and there weren't any problems there either, but... Kyoko seemed to hesitate, but... It's related to this case, so I suppose I should be blunt. I have to make a new rule. Using alter ego without permission is prohibited. Someone going in and out of the dressing room would draw unwanted attention from the masterminds. I would have thought that would be obvious. Why do, why do we need to make a rule about it? That's a good question. Do you have any thoughts on that, Hifumi? And now it's just like you said, we all need to be very careful. Huh? Whatever, let's just hurry up and eat. We don't have time to stand around flapping our lips. Jeez, why are you talking like a pissed off drill sergeant all of a sudden? We ate breakfast in a rush, then headed back to our rooms. I guess we have free time now. Okay, let's hunt down some people. Now, where would Celeste be? I want to finish uh, maxing her out. Oh, let me just check this. No, there's no plaque here. Doesn't say where this leads. Hmm. Let's also check the infirmary. I'm going to bet the... Um, going to bet on the recreation room. Okay, what do we have here? We have a monitor. A refrigerator. They must use it to keep drugs and stuff cold. And also coins. It's a normal trash can. There's nothing inside, so I don't really need to spend any more time thinking about it. And camera. Nothing else? Nothing else. Oh, I should really check how to... Uh, tab to turn the map on and off. Maybe it's from our book here? No. Hold on, I can do map from here. Ah! So, how hallway, hope speak, first floor, second floor. I want to go to the third floor. Ah, it even tells me what peep. Yeah. It tells me where they are. Nice. I should use this more often. So how do I go there? Rec room, yes. Rec room. I can go there. I can't... I, ah! Okay, it doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't work for every place. So let's go here. That's a bit out of the way, though. And let me check a gift guide. Let's spend some time with Celeste. Well, if it isn't the D rank Makoto, is something the matter? Let's spend some time. Well then, shall we have a bit of a conversation? Ah, uh, but don't misunderstand, I have no affection for you on a personal level. 
I spent some time with Celeste. And we grew a little closer today. Let's give her a present. Okay, what do we have? What does she like? Okay, Celeste. I don't have any more tea. Um, a fair ring, number 18. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. None. Uh huh. Phoenix Diamond, number 19. Nope. Uh, she doesn't like this as much, but it's the next best thing. Again, I haven't bothered to check if this matters or not, but... Uh, let's find the in vitro rose. And she should like the rose whip. Which is just too below. Interesting, the gods heard my prayer and my wish has been granted. Okay, that's the same dialogue as ever. Celestia Lundenberg. Celestia Lundenberg. What are you doing? No matter how many times I hear it, I never tire of hearing my own name. Isn't it so splendidly charming? Oh yeah, I've been wondering about that. Why that name? Why? I mean, is it from something? Why'd you pick it? I did not pick it. My name was given to me by my mother and father. Come on, that can't be your real name, can it? It is indeed my real name. Make no mistake about that. Okay, so your parents gave you that name? That's right. My father is French nobility and my mother is part of a German family of musicians. There's no way that's true. But okay, so were you born in France or Germany? Tochigi. Now we're getting somewhere. I was born in the capital of Tochigi, which is known for its delicious gyoza. Do you know of which city I speak? So it's the capital of Tochigi and it's famous for its gyoza. Well, I have no idea about that. Uh, however, Google is our friend. Capital Toshigi Utsunomiya. It's Utsunomiya, right? That is correct. You have proven you are roughly as intelligent as an elementary school student. Or a high schooler, maybe? You may be surprised to learn that I absolutely adore gyoza. I love its stench, its base vulgarity. So as you can imagine, I'm quite disappointed that I will never taste my hometown's gyoza again. Never say never, you know, once we get out of here. We will never get out of here. How long will you continue with this ridiculousness? You should give up. If you don't, it can only lead to murder. Celeste's eerie words stuck with me long after she'd left. The more I talk to her, the more I just don't understand her. We got the skill raise. When you find mono coins, you'll now earn more than you did before. Oh, cool. If only I had this earlier. Okay, do, do we have more time? We still got some time, so... Oh, never mind. Huh? Sounds like someone's here. Okay, we have no more time. Let's see... Have we maxed out Celeste? We have not. Okay, anyways, that's all the time we have for now. We'll open the door 
next time. For now, thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed some more Danganronpa, and as usual, don't miss the next episode, because I won't. I will see you all next time.